SpaceX, the company founded by Elon Musk for the purpose of colonizing Mars, has suffered yet another catastrophic failure in its starship. Back in 2017, Elon Musk said that SpaceX plans on colonizing Mars, first by sending a cargo ship in 2022 and then actually sending humans to Mars in 2024. Frankly, I don't think SpaceX is going to be able to send humans to Mars by the year 2024. In fact, I would be willing to bet money that they won't. And I don't think too many people would take me up on that bet because I don't really think that there are that many people that actually believe that SpaceX will manage to colonize Mars by the year 2024. Now remember, SpaceX, they're not just saying that they're going to send humans to Mars by 2024. They're saying that they're going to send humans to Mars by 2024 to actually live on Mars. And that's a big difference from just saying they're going to send humans to Mars and then send the humans back. So far, SpaceX has not been able to launch any humans into space at all. That doesn't mean they won't do so in the future, but they so far have not been able to do so. Also, it's not that I don't believe that humans will never be able to colonize Mars. But the idea that humans will be colonizing Mars in the year 2024 is a little bit ridiculous. And this is why I am a little bit skeptical of Elon Musk, is Elon Musk is very prone to making a lot of very ludicrous promises. I was pretty sure, in fact, I was definitely sure back in 2017, that there's just no way the SpaceX is going to colonize Mars by the year 2024, and I stand behind my belief that they will not be able to colonize Mars by 2024. That's just not going to happen. In fact, earlier in 2020, Elon Musk, in a very rare moment of actually being candid, actually said that if SpaceX continues to make progress towards Mars at the rate that they're currently making progress, SpaceX will not actually make it to Mars during his lifetime. I'm just like, would like to not be dead when by the time we go to Mars. That's <laughs> my aspiration here. Um, so if it's taken us 18 years just to get ready to do the first people to orbit, we better improve our rate of innovation or, you know, based on past trends, I am definitely going to be dead before Mars. So there you have it. Even Elon Musk, in a very rare moment of candor, has said that at this rate, he is definitely going to be dead before they get to Mars. And that does stand in very stark contrast to 2017, when he was talking about colonizing Mars by the year 2022, at least in sending a cargo ship, and by 2024 in actually sending humans to Mars. Now, this vehicle, Starship, is the vehicle that SpaceX says is going to get them to Mars. He also said back in September of 2019 that he hopes for the Starship to be launched into orbit within six months. Well, that certainly hasn't happened. And in fact, over the past six months, they have had three large unintentional failures. In November of 2019, SpaceX unintentionally destroyed the first prototype they created of the Starship, MK-1, during a pressure test. In another failed test for Starship in February of 2020, a Starship prototype was destroyed unintentionally during a chirogenic test. Then, in about a month later, just a little bit more, in April of 2020, the Starship suffered another unintentional failure during a chirogenic test. This time, it sort of resembled a giant soda can or Pringles can being crushed. All three of these tests were pressure tests that it failed. Now, I do want to say that it's not like I don't think SpaceX has ever accomplished anything. And I'm not trying to say that I don't think that Starship will ever be able to pass the 
chirogenics pressurization test. And I'm not even saying that SpaceX will never be able to launch Starship. But I am going to say this. Elon Musk and SpaceX definitely will not be able to launch a cargo ship to Mars in the year 2022. And they definitely will not be able to launch humans to Mars in the year 2024. There is no way the chance of that happening is zero. They simply cannot do it. SpaceX does not have the capability to send people to Mars in the year 2024 as Elon Musk claimed they would back in 2017. And frankly, they never really had any chance of getting to Mars in the year 2022 or 2024. Look, I actually do think that SpaceX has accomplished some things. For example, they have made progress in reusable launch systems. SpaceX is not the first entity or company to create a reusable launch system. The first relaunchable vehicle to reach orbit was actually the space shuttle program that the United States had and used from 1981 to 2011. The purpose of using a relaunchable vehicle was to save money. Theoretically, using a relaunchable vehicle would cost less than using a fully expendable program every time, although it's now believed that the United States ended up spending more money on the space shuttle program than they would have spent if they had just stuck to fully expendable launch systems. SpaceX does have some rockets that can be launched vertically into space and then land vertically back on Earth. However, SpaceX was not the first company to develop rockets that can do that, that can be launched into space. In fact, there were suborbital systems that could do that before SpaceX could. But SpaceX was the first to develop a partially reusable launch system that can take off vertically and land vertically that can be launched all the way into orbit. SpaceX has not been able to develop a fully reusable launch system that can go all the way into orbit. However, they are working on it. They just haven't accomplished it so far. Maybe they will accomplish it someday. I'm not saying they won't. And SpaceX does intend for Starship to be a fully relaunchable launch system. However, so far, they have not been able to get Starship to launch even once. So, so far, Starship is not a fully relaunchable system. Before it can be a fully relaunchable system, or even a partly relaunchable system, it needs to be launched, okay? So it can't be relaunchable if they can't even launch it even once. So far, they haven't been able to launch it even once. I'm not saying that they never will be able to launch it. And by the way, when I say launch it, I mean launch it into space. So far, I do believe that they have actually launched Starship, well, at least 60 feet for about 15 seconds. But they haven't been able to even get to the point where they have attempted to launch it into space yet. But I'm not saying they will never get there. The other thing I'll give SpaceX credit for, something that is not talked about as much as reusable launch systems, but probably just as significant. Long before they had reusable launch systems, SpaceX has been able to provide launches that are a lot less expensive than what their competitors charge. That stated, SpaceX is also a lot less reliable than some of their competitors. Take, for example, ULA or the United Launch Alliance. This is a company that is actually a joint venture created by Boeing and Lockheed Martin. And ULA is known for their high degree of reliability. When talking about the reliability rate of a space launch corporation, we're talking about the corporation's ability to actually successfully launch into space and to do their launches on time. Now, in the space industry, pretty much all space launch corporations have delays, but the industry standard is three months. So on average, most space launches are delayed by three months. That's the industry standard. 
ULA, however, has an average delay of just two weeks. SpaceX has a much longer average delay than two weeks. In this case, with Starship, Starship has already suffered three catastrophic failures, even though they haven't actually gotten to the point where they have actually been able to even attempt to launch Starship into space. The Starship does need to pass its chirogenics test before they can do that. Now, according to Elon Musk, the current failure of Starship was actually a failure of the test configuration. If that's true, it might be a good thing because it implies that perhaps the Starship itself would have passed the test if SpaceX had not screwed up the actual test. But we don't know if it would have passed the test for sure. SpaceX is going to have to do the test again. SpaceX is going to have to do the test properly this time. And they're going to have to see if Starship actually will pass. Now, maybe it will. Like I said, I think it's possible that they will be able to, at some point, launch Starship into space. I also want to say that even though SpaceX does have a higher failure rate than companies like ULA, you could make the argument that at least sometimes it is actually better to go with SpaceX in a lot of situations. Even if they are a lot less reliable, the fact that they cost a lot less might make their lower reliability worth it just because they are so much less expensive than companies like ULA. And I actually just might be a lot more willing to sing the praises of a company like SpaceX. The trouble with SpaceX, though, is its CEO, Elon Musk, is so prone to making ridiculous exaggerations, exaggerations that are basically BS, like the one where he claimed in 2000. 17, that they plan on colonizing Mars with actual humans in the year 2024. And remember, claiming that they're going to colonize Mars starting in 2024 is a lot different from just saying they're going to send humans to Mars and then have humans return, because they're talking about having humans actually go to Mars for the purpose of actually living there. But SpaceX will not be able to send any humans to Mars in 2024 at all. They are not capable of doing this. They are not capable of sending humans to return and come back in 2024, and they are definitely not capable of sending humans to Mars to actually colonize Mars in 2024. They never were actually capable of doing this, and the promise of them actually being able to do so is so ridiculous that it actually is just BS, and it always was BS. SpaceX isn't anywhere close to being able to travel to Mars. They aren't anywhere close. They are definitely not going to be able to colonize Mars in 2024. Like I said, I would probably be a lot more willing to praise SpaceX for their actual accomplishments if their CEO wasn't always going around making these ludicrous promises. Now, I know that there are people out there that say, well, Elon Musk basically needs to make ludicrous promises in order to keep his goals high. But the thing is, that's not really true. It is actually possible for someone to be successful and accomplish things without making promises to the public that are actual BS and saying that SpaceX is going to colonize Mars by 2024 is BS, and it always was BS. It was BS back in 2017, and it's BS now, and I am sure that they will not be able to do it by 2024. I think that maybe they will be able to launch Starship into space. I don't know if Starship ever will make it to Mars in any capacity, and I'm not just talking about sending humans to Mars. I don't know if Starship will ever make it to Mars just carrying cargo. And frankly, if they do manage to make it to Mars with Starship, it's going to be pretty far into the future. It's definitely not going to happen by 2022 or 2024. After this most recent failure, Elon Musk said that space is hard. And he is right. Space is hard. It is 
hard enough that it was always ridiculous for Elon Musk to claim back in 2017 that SpaceX was going to somehow colonize Mars by the year 2024. Space is too hard, and Elon Musk and SpaceX are not capable of colonizing Mars by the year 2024. They cannot do it. Also, people have said, well, with this newest failure, hopefully they can learn from their mistakes. And yeah, hopefully they can. If it is true that this was actually a problem with the testing configuration, then hopefully SpaceX can actually figure out how to do the testing configuration properly next time. And yeah, I mean, maybe they can learn from their mistakes. But one thing we can definitely learn from this mistake and other mistakes is they will not be able to get to Mars with humans in the year 2024. They can't do that. They're not capable of doing that. Even Elon Musk said earlier this year that at the rate SpaceX is currently going, they will not be able to get to Mars within his lifetime. Thanks very much to my Patreon producer, Lena, aka Lollipop, and my Patreon associate producer, Jamie Joy. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon for notifications, and select all notifications. It really helps me out when you select all notifications. You can also catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at ZorkBid123.